Okay, we're in the stunning car today. We're in this lovely Morgan 4 We're going to go out for a little test drive. Let's see how we get on. It's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful car. A Morgan 1972 44 1600cc Ford Kent Crossflow engine. A very, very lovely car all round. Just drove it back from Newcastle over the old roads. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's about 80 miles in it. Watch the rest of the video, I will show you everything you need to see the underside, the driving. It's a really, really properly nice British sports car. Look at them cutaway doors there, look. So look in the engine bay. It's ticking over nicely. It is cold, I've only just started it. Okay, let's take a quick look at the interior. So the driver's seat's all good. A little bit of wear on the edge of the seat there. Passenger seat's good. You've got your seat belts in the front. Dashboard, very original, unmolested. Not had anything cut in for radios or speakers. Driver's door top's all good there. Nice rear seat. Just sat in properly because I've been messing with it, but there you go, that's your rear seat. You can see your footwells are very good there. And you go down there. A little bit of wear on the driver's mat, but the footwell's solid. And the same with that footwell in very good order. Your heater. Should be keeping you warm today. Now we've got the hood down, and the hood and all four side screens are stored in that slot behind there just at the minute. So they're all there with you in case you come across a thunderclap while you're out. All these side panels are good, the door cards are good. See on that side now you can see the side panels and door card. Nothing really out of place on the interior at all. Like the rest of the car is just lovely. <laughs> Have a look at uh, the ash frame here. You can see me, it's difficult to see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to wobble the door there and it's not doing it. It's all good there. You can see it's solid. You can see there, that's all solid. The door is slamming shut, no problem. You can see here, the frame's good. Across there. Round to this other side. Well, you can see me wobbling the car, can't you? Look. And there's nothing moving there. Okay, you can see the frame there. And there it's all solid. Nice and solid there. And that door clicks shut as well.
Okay, we've got the mortgage up in the air. We're going to have a look underneath. We're at the uh, back passenger side corner at the minute. Let's look at this chassis leg here and this bumper mounting. And it's all good. That's timber floor for the back foot wells. That's us on the other side there. We're all solid. All the way around there. I appreciate it's heavily under sealed, which is why I'm tapping it for you so you can see that it's solid. Now we'll move down to this section here. Obviously it's solid here because I've got my lifting blocks at this point here. There's the exhaust looking good. Again, centre cross member there. Not great to see because it's just over my lifting beam. There's your wooden floors and the chassis rail at the other side is all solid and then we'll come back under the second lifting beam tap on that heavily under sealed but solid cross member and that front chassis leg and that one's all solid as well we can see the brake pipes here all in good condition, they've all got grease on them. This cross brake pipe's got grease on it. You can see the brake discs are in good condition there. Um, there's no plate whatsoever in that wheel bearing. No noise whatsoever there. Nipples are all nicely greased up. And again, this brake disc is in good condition with no plate. And the burden and no noise. And again, plenty of signs of grease on the nipples look. It's always a good sign, isn't it? And things have been well greased up. Let's put on the radiator there. Fan belt looks to be in good condition. Oil filter's not all rusty, so it's been fairly recently changed. Start them out of there. Good. Right. I'll just uh, have a look through there. Look, that's the back of the gearbox. And then we've got a flexible brake pipe here to the back axle, which is in good condition. The brake pipes up there again. They're all looking good. They're all greased up, but they're solid. There's no furring on them. You can just see at the back of that drum there. And up the back of that drum there, you can see the brake pipes, and they're in good condition. Again, loads of grease on the handbrake actuator, loads of grease on the springs. So there you go, that's the, well, let's just spin these wheels. No play in that bearing, no noise. No play in that bearing, no noise. There you go. Just briefly again, while it's still up in the air, the tyres. I should have done what I was walking around. It's running a matching set of Firestone tyres. Look how much tread there is on there. Quickly at the front. All the same pattern, all the same tyre. All in really good condition. Here's your last one. Okay, we're uh, at the crossroads, we're just going to set off and go back up the hill. It is a lovely car and there will be other mortgages for sale, possibly around the same price. We've got a lovely tag, nobody demonstrates a car the way that we do, nobody 
myself watching these videos. We can be a complete test drive without using the vehicle to secure. If you like what you see, get into it.